well when we're at the at last of uh the warm streak here before winter probably officially kicks in we'll try out a new little uh toy today here at this little lake and that is the eye bobber this guy right here which i have on a steel lead and then I'm going to also throw in an extra GoPro today to see if I can get any underwater shots. I'm going to put these all on the same fishing line, which is not braided, which is probably not the smartest idea. But uh, we will see how this works. I'm going to drop it down there. And then we're going to chum the waters. And then um, we're going to see how this works. So as you can see, we have the eye bobber down there with my GoPro. What we'll do is we will open up the eye bobber app and we will make sure we're synced. I'll go to settings, connect to eye bobber, make sure my Bluetooth is on. Okay. The eye bobber has to be in the water for it to connect. All right, we're connected. Now I can close that out, hit home, we'll go to sonar. Right now it's showing fish three feet and then four feet so it looks like we're at about seven feet of water right there and there's fish around two or three feet below the surface the app says that underneath my eye bobber there about two feet below the surface we have some fish so let's put corn on an ultra light here and then we'll adjust the bobber to be two feet. Got something. Oh, it's a beautiful crappie. All right. Look at that guy, he's huge. That is a great crappie. If you're a gamer, that's the digital camo that you can uh, unlock if you get to level 10. I'm also going to get crazy and I'm going to tie a fluorocarbon leader to the eye bobber itself, just a two pound leader, and uh, see if the actual eye bobber can catch anything. I believe when there's a fish that hooks up, it'll set off an alarm. I've got landscaping crews behind me, so I apologize for the noise. There it is. There it is. I caught something with the eye bobber. Ah. Let's bring it on to shore. The alarm didn't go off. I'll have to check why is that why that's the case. Well. Let's go check it out. Did I forget to freaking turn on the GoPro? Bluegill, looking good. Please tell me to turn. I forgot to freaking turn on the GoPro for that underwater shot. And we're rolling. God dang it, that would have been awesome. That was a fail. Let's throw this big goofy rig back in there. So the GoPro is facing down with the eye bobber next to it. We have fish on the screen. We get a bite. And, uh, 
another gill. We're getting a bite. See, we're getting a bite on the eye bobber. to retie after this one. That's a big beautiful bluegill. All right, it says I got fish under. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at those gills. Now those are bluegills. Okay, it says that there's a fish about three feet under my eye bobber. One just flew by. One four or five feet, one at three feet. They're smaller fish. Another cool thing it does is a uh, shows up on my watch there. I don't know if you can see because of the glare, but my watch shows the bobber and it says that there's four feet of water there. Call in the eye bobber for today. Oh. That is a big boy. That is a big boy. Look at the size of that crappie. Tiny crankbait. So the eye is pretty cool. I especially like it for water temperature, depth. I did like that little vibration function it has that attracts fish. Um, I think that was actually kind of helpful. Um, it does locate schools of fish and fish in general but when they're sitting still but when they come flying by and go right underneath the eye bobber um, it's not as apparent i mean it doesn't work as well that way but for locating like fish deep and stuff like that i feel like it would work a little better there we go there we go there we go. Whoops, oh, there goes my sunfish. There it is. Ah. Oh, I lost a big crappie. So, basically I just have 10 pound braid test with a four pound fluorocarbon lead. This is clear waters which is often is in the winter because the cold makes the sediments fall but so I use those fluorocarbon leads it's a little less visible in the water uh, one more big big crappie right before sundown Look at that beauty. All right, that was fun.